Today we'll be making a helicopter, specifically the Black Hawk helicopter. This American helicopter was made in 1979, and it was used in many combative conflicts. This helicopter was requested by Unit 664, and also Nathan the One has been pressuring me to make this for quite a while. So thank you for requesting this helicopter. I know this video is titled just helicopter, but maybe in my other videos I'll name it the actual vehicle. In my opinion this build turned out pretty decent. All the propellers can rotate, and the windows are see-through. So without any more waiting, let's get into the tutorial. As always, to start off, here's a reference image. This helicopter will be hard to make because of how curvy it is. That's why I stick to World War II vehicles, because they're more boxy. First, I cut out the back shape of the helicopter. Then I bend the frontal part, because the helicopter will get thicker. Then I glue it on some thicker cardboard and cut it out. You want to only glue on and cut out the parts where it doesn't bend. I do it multiple times till you get something like this. As you can see it's pretty thick and it has two bended out pieces of cardboard. Then I bore a hole into the end of the helicopter and stick a broken pencil into there. This will allow your back propellers to turn. I do this early into the build so I don't mess up the rest of the helicopter when I try to bore a hole into the end. Then I glue both angled pieces onto this flat piece of cardboard. And when it's glued on to the piece of cardboard, I just cut out the rest of the helicopter. Now you want to cut out the walls, but you want to leave out one side of the helicopter so you can add the doors. Here's a cutout door with two windows in it. I also add windows into other places. The front pieces should be slanted, and they should also have windows in them. After you're done with that, I cut out this curved angled piece. But as you can see, it doesn't cover up the sides. This is because I want to use hot glue to cover up the sides to make it look more curvy. And the main window is just a flat piece of cardboard. When you're done, you can start filling in the sides with hot glue. I add some cardboard supports, so I don't have to fill in so much. And the process is just filling it in and just waiting for it to dry and filling it in again. If you overfill it, you can also just rub the hot glue gun onto the hot glue so then it melts. While you're waiting for some of the hot glue to dry, I make the top. I just use a flat piece of cardboard and cut out the shape of the top. I also made this thing out of cardboard, which I didn't record because, I don't know, my camera's broken. But it's basically something that goes onto the top. I'm pretty sure if you use reference images, you can basically make the same thing. Now I bored a hole into the top of the helicopter to make the top propeller. It's pretty easy, you just get something like a broken pencil or a cocktail stick and just fit it snugly into the cardboard. Then the propellers are made by just using cardboard, which is easy enough. I also add some wheels, which are just this piece of cardboard and some broken pencils glued onto it. Now it's time to paint it. Since the helicopter is called the Black Hawk helicopter, I just decided to paint it black.
it's all dry, you can add the windows. The windows are just made from plastic that I got from a food tray from my school. And yes, it's, it's a food tray. I just cut them into squares and glued them behind the windows inside the helicopter. This turned out to be harder because I had to reach my little fingers into there, which is not a good idea. I should have just not glued on the top and then it would be easier. And of course I glue on the windows after I paint the helicopter because I don't want to get paint on the windows. And for a final detail, I added these numbers onto the side of the helicopter, but I used a pretty big paintbrush and it looked like crap. Now you're basically done, you just have to attach the propellers if you didn't attach them and uh... Yeah! So thank you guys for requesting the helicopter. It was kinda interesting to make a helicopter on my first try. But I might not do any more helicopter tutorials because they're just really hard to make. I also haven't been posting for a while because I've been uh, working on a new stop motion. And these days the weather is really good for filming so I've been working on that instead of videos. But hopefully I'll be making more. So thank you all for watching.